good day out there. Uh, when you hear my squeaky voice, you know that it's time for a, another tutorial on how to best optimize your Uniplay experience. Uh, today I want to show you how we at Ashanti TV use the filler. Shouldn't take us more than a couple of minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my client already open. Actually, I have both the client and the Playout engine running uh, because this is a, a live uh, channel situation for us. Um, by the way, for those who don't know, we broadcast uh, primarily to Roku devices. Uh, we are in the process of developing channels for Apple TV and uh, Sony TV as well. And uh, we also have a relationship here in the Atlanta, Georgia area with uh, Comcast Cable. So as you can see, our Playout engine is running. The channel is streaming uh, live as we speak or as we tape, I should say. Uh, and in the background, I already had the client uh, engine up and running. But uh, just in case you need to, to start it, you uh, from the uh, Playout Engine interface, you can just click the Client button here, and that will launch the client and get everything started for you. Okay, so why do we use a filler? Well, the main reason why we use a filler is that in this example, uh, you can see that my playlist is scheduled to run from 6 a.m., until about 6 p.m. So we have this looped. So this playlist will run actually from 6 a.m. today. It'll loop again and run until 6 a.m. in the morning. But the way Uniplay is designed, um, it expects us to schedule each day like uh, as we can do here. When we don't, uh, Uniplay automatically picks up the filler and plays the items that are in the filler library. So at the end of this playlist, the filler library will automatically kick in. The other thing is, let's say that we took out Tech 5 here, which is scheduled to run at 351. If we don't automatically adjust our timeline in the playlist, there a gap will be here. So what we can do is, is, for example, is we can go ahead and let this timeline play to 351, switch over to filler for about uh, two minutes and five seconds, and then pick up the next scheduled item that's, uh, that should air at 353. So in this way, Unimedia is also smart enough to adjust the gaps for the gaps in our playlist by filling them in with content from the filler library. Let's just go ahead and look at the filler so that we can see how it works. So we're gonna click here, and we're gonna click filler library. And as you can see, I think we have about 101 news items here. And, um, for us, that, that runs for approximately an hour and a half, uh, maybe two hours. Just like with the movie archives and the media folders, we can easily drag items into the filler library. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So let me clear this out. All right. And just in case you're worried, just because we're clearing the items here, it doesn't mean that we're deleting them from our storage area. We're just clearing them from this folder so that uh, we can insert some new items here. So let's just go ahead and click yes. All right. And we're going to click insert video. I'm going to go back to the folder that I usually use here, which is my associated press feeds. And I'm going to click on one item here. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to click on this one. And as you can see, all of these items are now selected. So if I click open, uh, 
uh, you will see that Uniplay will go ahead and insert those video clips for us. So we usually use a playlist based uh, filler. Um, so for now, uh, maybe we'll come back and look at zone base later, but for now, um, you can see that all the items are here. Uh, let's see, we have 12 of them. And remember that uh, anytime we make a change in Uniplay, we always want to make sure that we save our work. We're going to go ahead and choose OK. So we've added 12 items this way. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and leave these items here and uh, show you another way that we can actually add items to the filler. We can just come over to the to the app feed folder and we can again I have as you can see I have JPEGs in here so what I want to do is I'm going to come over here to type hit the down arrow and I'm going to tell it to list only the media files that I want to see okay so now we got um, the Windows media files and like I said uh, in an earlier tutorial I, I prefer to work with media file, files, I, I find that they play out best for me. So let's see. So this is uh, item, this item here, these, these are the ones moving up this way that we installed previously. So let's start with here. And I'm going to drag down and take and try to take about 100 items. So that's 64. Okay, scroll down some more. And it's 86, so let's just grab uh, two more of these because we already have 12 in there. I'm going to drag these now and I'm going to drop them. And as you can see, we get a line indicating that uh, Uniplay is ready for us to drop. So let's drop. Minimize set, and we can see here that these items are being inserted into our playlist. All right, it may take the filler a little time to actually uh, import that number of items uh, because it's also inserting them into the database so that it knows so that it knows what, what to play when it needs uh, to run the filler. Uh, but uh, remember that once it does, we always want to go ahead and save our uh, work um, before we exit out. I can't actually show you uh, this because we um, this is a live channel and we do actually have programs running now. But again, just to recap, to go ahead and program filler, we come up here to the menu bar, we click on filler, we go to the filler library, and we add items here either by using the insert or drag and drop methods. And we then save um, our data. And there we go, we have the filler up and running. Um, I know sometimes uh, users will actually use the filler as opposed to a playlist. You could actually put 10 to 15 items in here, 20 items or so, um, 20 movies, and you could put them in the filler and you could just have them running nonstop. So if you're interested in doing that, you feel free to do so. Uh, but this gives us a nice balance between having both a playlist and a filler, knowing that we have the comfort that the filler is going to kick in once our playlist uh, stops. So that um, completes our tutorial on the filler. Um, we uh, hope, as always, that you continue to enjoy your Uniplay experience. Thank you very much.